and Silky Kumo. Sounds like the game sounds a little low. So I'm going, by sounds like I mean it looks like, and every time I exit out in the game, it's gonna do the thing, or it does the thing, and meh. Oh wait, that's that's not a good size. By that, I mean it, um, when I'm not in Visceral Cleanup Detail, it stops playing sound. There we go, that's what I want. And then this can go up here. Okay, here we go. Takes a lot of guts to play this game right here. <laughs> so, hi, Void Cat. How you doing? I hope your evening's going well. I used to be horrifically addicted to this game. Honestly, this is the only level I have not played. <laughs> so I figured, as it's almost Halloween, um that it would be good to play the last level of this because it is bloody but not scary because I'm a big baby um <laughs> as well uh I had actually planned on carving a pumpkin and me overconfident was like I'm gonna go get a pumpkin today no there is one gigantic ugly as hell pumpkin that I was not dragging back from the store so I don't have a pumpkin for Halloween this year and that's fine so we're going to play this today. I also don't think I'm going to stream tomorrow, um, even though it's my two-year uh, streaming anniversary. I definitely, like, made a mistake picking Halloween because I'm always going to be busy on Halloween. So this year I think I'm going to take it easy and not try to do too much and just focus on handing out candy to kids. You're doing good. Just wrapped up stream for the night. Also, big hell no pumpkin. Yeah. But it is what it is. At least we did some pumpkin themed stuff. Because when I made pie the other day. Oh, my eyes are cheap. Um, I, I had a little pie pumpkin on stream. So you know what? This is, this is fine. Um, have you ever opened up a bag of gummy bears and immediately just taken a big whiff of just delicious gummy bears? Because, like, 15 seconds before I went to my streaming screen, that is precisely what I did. <laughs> so I've got gummy bears with me. I need to quickly run into my store in Animal Crossing. Because that's another game I'm hor horrifically addicted to. And, um... Buy some wrapping paper. <laughs> and then it cut to add oh no I'm sorry though I can confirm I have done that at least once no I meant um opening up a bag of gummy bears and just taking a big old whiff of like delicious gummy bear because like 15 seconds before I left my starting screen and went to this screen that is what I did so now I have gummy bears to snack on So apologies for the inevitable chewing sounds. <laughs> okay. I got my gold wrapping paper for tomorrow. I can leave my shop. I can close Animal Crossing for now. Okay. <clears throat> and then we can get started playing Viscera Cleanup Detail. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Okay. Switch is on my dresser. Okay. That goes better with the sour gummy worms, TBH. It's hard just they got on. <laughs> smells nice. I don't like sour things, actually, unfortunately. So I don't feel the same way, but. Yeah, okay, there is just one option. Oh, God, did that say three hours? Fuck. That's not getting finished tonight. Because <laughs> usually when it says three hours, it actually means, like, five hours. Um... Did not notice that. Shh. I have to go to bed for, at like a reasonable hour. Unfortunate. <sighs> Junior executive janitor. The company bids you welcome to this remote island. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, if you couldn't tell from the logo, James Bond themed. <laughs> um, well, you have no choice but to accept it or face severe disciplinary measures. Understood? 
Now then, the sprawling facility and various successful areas are to be rendered clean and rehabitable. As always, once decontaminated and cleared, you are to ignore and forget any details regarding the incident. The multitude of nations that may or may not be connected with the events and facility would not look kindly upon a sanitation employee overstepping their bounds. Finally, considering the nature of the operations and the work of the facility, it is advisable to proceed with caution. Certain devices and systems may remain operable. 6 a.m. is a reasonable hour. I, I'm actually not going to bed. Or, excuse me, waking up that early. Um, oh, that's ahead. But, uh, I do... Make a lot of noise. Oh, shit. Did I just knock over the bucket? Oh, my God. We're off to a good start. Okay, I should find the incinerator. Let's let's get started with that. I have a feeling this is going to be a very large map. Oh, God. Also, how I play this game is a little bit uh, wonky in that I just try to burn everything. No? That's not going to do anything. Hi, Dooms. How's it going? I hope you are well. Yeah, I guess I will have to clean up bullet holes and everything. Oh god, that's gonna take forever. Okay, I think I need to check something. Options. Is Bob on? No, Bob isn't on. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Are those sharks? Okay, no, they're robot sharks. I still have to find the incinerator. Oh, there, there's the tunes. Double O banger. That doesn't do anything either. Unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe it is through here. Oh, I'm gonna leave bloody footprints. That's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a whole basement. Jesus. Okay, well, there's the bucket dispenser. That's good to know. I think my mop needs cleaning. Hope you're doing well today, Dooms. Oh, God. Did I just fall down an elevator shaft? I did. How many floors is this damn thing? Hmm. Huh. Missile silo. Interesting. Unfortunate. Nuclear power station. No. Magma control? Excuse me? <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, and that's where the basket dispenser is. Launch aborted. One second. That's funny. Ooh, what are these drawings? Athena virus. Drop henchman. Take virus. Arm missile. Major city. That's so stupid. I love it. Okay, let's, let's go up to the third floor. See what's up there. Um. Oh, okay. I guess we're on the third basement floor. Um. Okay, this is where we just were, right? Yeah. Two. One. Oh, I see, yeah. And then G is the ground floor. Project Infiltration, NATO, not a terrorist organization, MI6. Plant more moles, CIA, already ours, NASA, not a space agency? Okay, like that's getting a little old, reusing the joke. Complete before Tuesday. Okay, good luck. What is this tree? Creepy. Okay, well, there's another one here. Nice. 
I'm just trying to find the bloody incinerator, and here I am finding the whole ass boardroom. Lots of mirrors, hoping I'd be able to look out at something. No. Unfortunate. Okay. Next floor. Maybe it's the ground floor. Gummy bears. Oh, well, that's idyllic. Wait. Can I go outside? Bloody hell! This is gonna take me like a hundred years! Oh god, I really want to walk into that laser fence. Look how nice it is out there. Can I go in here? Probably not. Hmm? Oh my god, there's a fucking key code. This level is actually going to take me eight hours. There's a dispenser. I still have not found the fucking incinerator. My god. Oh, actually. Which reminds me. Oh, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Can, uh, is it in here? No, it's not. Okay. Um, edit. Stream settings. Audience. This, uh, wait, no, not audience. Um, that's not what I wanted. Uh, content labels. Can I not? Well, I guess it's automatically rated mature because of the game. Okay, that's fine. Um, gambling. Violent or... Okay, yeah, I guess. Violent and graphic depictions. Fine. There's your, there's your warnings. <laughs> I guess that's where I came in, huh? Where do I burn things? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, that was a fun glitch. Can I drive this? I don't know if I could, oh, is that a key card? All right, these, that's a bullet. What does this letter say? Yet another report from my men. These infernal creations of Dr. Morrow have once again given my men guarding the holding cells the creeps. This time our usual claim from a guard that one of these subjects attempted to communicate with him. Needless to say, harder men are needed. Dr. Hades continues to disregard my suggestion to hire more formidable henchmen. In the meantime, another guard rotation is required. Bert Saxby, head of security. How the fuck do I destroy things in this game? It shouldn't be this hard. And I haven't found, like, the laser gun yet. Man, this is such a big level. That sun hurts, though. What do I do? Okay, let's go back to the basement basement. Oh, fuck. Wow. I don't know how I managed to get stuck on a wall.
I can't beep boop the machines or anything. I just really wish I knew where the incinerator was. Is this just a CD drive? this pool which I almost just fell into and now I'm leaving bloody footprints but that's okay room at all okay well that's where that is lucifer court really well, there's a laser gun there's a toilet back there Well, there's the, the beep it a do thing. Well, that was not effective. Storage. Doesn't do anything, unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to be confused and look this up because this is ridiculous. Ah! Thank you, Dooms, for throwing a spider on my head. <laughs> hmm. Ow! God damn. <laughs> Is this for looking up a map? I just want to know. Is there no? Oh my God. Okay, so there's no personal identification devices. So the beep beep to do thing is not relevant. <clears throat> but it doesn't look like there's a... an incinerator. What? But how do we get rid of the bodies? Oh, 
placement incinerator, there is a pool of water containing two laser sharks. Any items thrown into this pool will be destroyed by the sharks. When a non-organic item is thrown into the pool, such as a crate, trash, or weapons, the laser sharks will incinerate it using the laser cannon mounted on their back. If an organic item is thrown into the pool, such as dead bodies or the player, the laser sharks will approach and consume it. Okay. Let's go find the sharks. Oh. Interesting. What does this note have to say? Um, I've about had it with Dr. Morrow. He's never satisfied with any of our creations. From the ape hybrids to the dinosaur recombination. Not even the sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads elicited much response. Those are my finest creation, for God's sake. You eat the bodies. Oh, God. <laughs> but no, it's always gotta be more dangerous. More intelligent. Really gets on my nerves. Now he wants us to steal a blood sample from Mr. Cuddlesworth. Hell no! We're not stupid enough to take a risk like that. Even if the science is promising, we're running out of space in the holding cells as it is. To say nothing of Dr. Hades' reaction. Emilio Largo, biotechnologist. I'm definitely going to fall into that fucking pool at one point. Nice, a biohazard bin. How handy. Not that I particularly need it right here, but. Oh gosh. Nice! I got, I got split in half by a door! That's amazing! I need a bucket. Oh, nice. Well, that's fun. I do need to. Go get one of those though, so let's go find a bucket. Right here. Nice. Thank you, machine, for not granting me a hand. Oh. Apparently that was explosive. That's going to be fun to clean in a minute when the smoke clears. Good to know that that's an immediate explosion. At least in like other levels when you throw something explosive in the um, incinerator, you can close the door and you have about five seconds to run away. Hello, Kumo. Hello, Moon Ghost. How's it going? Hope your evening's going well. Uh, we're cleaning up blood. Wonderful viscera. I used to be horrifically addicted to this game. It looks like the explosion didn't create a mess. That's pretty good. probably gonna get a bit loud with the explosions that was an efficient method to dispose of organs yeah so that's the thing in this game i spent 10 minutes wandering around trying to find the incinerator only to look it up and find that you just throw things in the pool and these laser sharks deal with them oops man this song is definitely trying to be james bond i love it Oh, there's some bullets here. Anything else? Nice. 
Okay, let's go in here and start gathering things. Oh, and I guess I should bring my bucket in here too. I love this game. It brings me great joy. Okay, let's see. What do you, okay, there's bullet holes all over this wall. That's fine. I'll go get the laser gun later. It's one of the last things I do usually. Project Prehistoric. Step one, acquire dinosaur DNA. Amber. Splice as needed. Unusual blends preferred. Containment zone. Trials with dino army. Modify and retest. Unleash. Paris, New York, Old York. Local spider disposes toxic waste into freshwater supply. More right. Yup. I'm okay with that. God, what grease mess happened here? <laughs> it's all in the name of this game. <laughs> okay. Big old syringe thing. Well, I'm gonna throw these things in here. Okay, what do we got? We got this disk drive. We got a can. Oh, lots of little bullets. That's annoying. Okay, let's bring this right here. In you go. I love the subtle like sounds you hear from the next room over as the sharks demolish. Can I go through this? Can I read that? No. Error. What's the harm in going through the lasers? I can't go through the lasers. I have to drag this jerk around? Aww. How am I supposed to get the thing? That's unfair. Wait, I already got a gummy bear. I wonder if there's something to deactivate the lasers. That'll make my life a little easier. Oh, that deactivates lasers. Is it a time-based thing? Seems fine. That's okay. Anything in here? Other than my ass getting stuck in these rooms. Wow. Nothing in there? Okay. Oh. Turns out I grabbed the can. I thought I grabbed the whole stand. Hello, Silky. Gonna sleep and want to say hi. Sorry, YouTube video of your first year. Very cool. That was... That was... That was you! <laughs> so I had to clip it. Thank you. Have a good stream. Thank you! Oh! I'm making a bloody mess! Have a good night. Sleep well. And thank you for stopping by. I think I have a partially chewed piece of gummy bear in my throat. Oopsies. Damn it! I thought it was close enough. Well, now I have more blood to clean. God damn it. Ah! 
You know I'm out of practice when. God damn it. Now I need to go get a new bucket. Now where is it? It's done this way. Oh, there's bullet holes in this room I gotta repair. Unfortunate. Oops, spilled the bucket. Yep. I swear I'm actually good at this game. I'm just a little out of practice is all. Mildly distracted. Nothing in this room. Alright, I made a mess here. It's going to be fun watching the sharks react to when I throw an entire, like, uh, basket full of things in here. I'm just going to take some of the big things and throw them to the sharks. I always check the ceiling because sometimes there is just mysterious viscera on the ceiling. Okay, let's get some of this blood cleaned. There's a lot of it. Oh, I'm leaving footprints. Oh! I spilled the bucket again. How did I do that? Why did I do that? Why is there intestines on the floor? Wow, I have left many bloody footprints abound. All right, time to go get another bucket because I'm a big stupid dummy. At least it's nearby for now. Come on, there we go. Don't kick the bucket, please. <laughs> I'll try not to, though I feel like at some point I am going to accidentally fall into the shark containment unit. It's so easy to fall in there, I think. Chem Labs Bioweaponry. Wonderful. It is going to be quite funny when I do inevitably fall in the shark pool. Okay, let's throw this trash in here. What are the, oh my god, the chips in this DLC, 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 are called bow ties. Objective, destroy hunger. Mission accomplished. Oh my god. Oops, oh, come on. The crispiest nutrient-based snack. Okay, nutrient based. Miss Missile Crisis, the Mega Beer. Jesus Christ, you go in there. Okay. Let's go to this side. Lots of things to clean up in here. Oh wow, this person got dragged by that cart. It looks like. Yummy. Okay, well, more to clean up. What's this? Corn shots, okay. I 
Yeah, let's try to scalpel fall, I think. I gotta find that. Huh. <sighs> Not time to bring out the nose yet, though. Man, it's gonna take 15 minutes just to, like, run around this whole place with the nose, I swear to God. But the nose knows. Ah. Oops. I didn't get viscera all over the wall. No, mm-mm. No! Oh, you! In! Stay! Now you're gonna glitch over there? Okay. Fine. Be that way. I think I need to throw this basket out soon. It's getting a little full. Okay, let's go. How many things are going to fall out as I'm walking over to the sharks? Okay, interesting. Yeah, I guess there's a lot for them to destroy. Is it getting cold in your area? Oh my god, I was so chilly earlier. I went out for um, a walk to try to find a pumpkin, but I didn't have any of my warmer jackets at the bottom of the stairs. So I didn't I wear a warmer jacket today, and I was quite chilly. Guess I have to get a new basket too now. How about you? Is it annoyingly cold where you are? This is a bigger item than the circuit board. It can get tossed in. Same with these barrels. I saw it snowed for a shark this morning. That's insane. I'm not jealous of her. It's in the 30s and 40s. Okay. So like, chilly. But not quite freezing yet. That, that's about where we are. I think. When I converted in my brain. Thir 32 is freezing, right? I think. I don't know Fahrenheit. I'm a Canadian. <laughs> Okay, I do still need that basket though. Oh, I guess it's down one floor. Water. Hmm. I guess I should load up the um, elevator with things to bring the sharks. There's a basket. Can I bring this whole damn thing? Nice. Yeah. Just indiscriminately toss things onto here. I'm gonna get another basket while I'm at it. Good, it's not a pile of organs. It's a real basket. Oh. Lots of flammable things here. This is a really big elevator, that's nice. I guess for a level this large, kinda handy. Ooh, thunk, 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 thunk. So we're gonna have kids and parkas for Halloween tomorrow. It's gonna suck for them. I'm going to be kind of cold in my front hallway handing out candy with the door open. Well, fellas, I'm going to leave you down here this time, but I'll be back for you. Oh, God. The controls are back there, aren't they? Uh, we want the second basement.
One at a time. Let's throw things into the fire. Well, I guess I got away from the explosion in time this time. Probably not going to be as lucky this time, though. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wow. It didn't Ember hit me all the way over at the... Oops. At the elevator. There it is. Oh, God. Dragging this thing up the stairs is hard. It's big and heavy. Let's just get all the big things. Do you have heating? No, well, okay, it's, I do have heating and it's on, but when I give out candy, I tend to stand there uh, with the door open, which I guess is kind of like my own fault, but it's just better air circulation and less annoying to constantly have to open the door. Did you ever read Scary Stories to Tell... No, is it Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? No, it isn't Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It's a different children's horror thing. This one's a reader. Oh, fuck. That was glitched. Um, but there was this children's, like, leveled reader with a bunch of spooky stories in it. And one of them was called The Green Ribbon. And this was my favorite story as a child. And so the story goes that the, this young man meets this beautiful young woman and falls in love with her. But she's got um, a green ribbon around her neck. And he asks her, why do you wear that ribbon around your neck? And she tells him, I'll tell you when you're ready. Eventually, like, their courtship continues, and they get married, and on their wedding night, he again asks his new wife, why do you wear the green ribbon around your neck? And she again says to him, I'll tell you when you're ready. The years go on. They have children. But she still continues to wear the green ribbon around her neck. And the husband wonders why. Finally, they, they're quite old now. They, uh, they've lived quite the life together. And yet, she's never explained why she wears a green ribbon around her neck. Finally, one night on her death, I said finally twice, one night on her deathbed, he asks her, well, now you must tell me. You're on your deathbed. Why do you wear that green ribbon around your neck? And she smiles at him and says, Okay, I'll tell you. It's time. Remove the green ribbon from my neck. And slowly, he unties the ribbon from around his wife's neck. And her head falls off. <laughs> and I found that to be fucking incredible to my child brain. <clears throat> So I ended up video calling my brother today and um, we were talking about Halloween costumes because his kids are going trick-or-treating tomorrow and I asked him what they were trick-or-treating as and I showed them what my plan was. And I have this necklace that is a metal necklace and it's a choker and when I wear it, it um, looks like I have a nice long drippy bloody slice along my neck so it's perfect for that so as soon as I put it on my brother asks me do you have a green ribbon <laughs> because we have this chair shared childhood experience of reading this story as kids and I found that very amusing that he immediately knew my plan with that necklace when he saw it Anyway, we're back in this room cleaning up. Oh! Hello? 
Bless Room TV. Uh, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hi. <coughs> I'm uh, Silky Kumo. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Mushroom PT, and Johnny Cage 1987, and, and Fluffa, and DJ59. Oh my goodness. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Hi. I'm Silky Kumo. I'm a spider, and and we're playing Visceral Cleanup Detail. Stretch. Okay. Give me two seconds. Let's, let's, um, let's shout out, sh shout out, I can't words. And thank you, Mally Cordes, for the follow. Okay, let's see. Here, I will follow you back. Big, <coughs> big stretch. One side. Oh, my camera's not picking it up. But to the other side. There we go. Thank you for rating the stretch. Oh, and there's a hydrate reading. I will do that in a second. Hey, you're, uh, we were playing this too, and I wanted to share the love. Yeah, I love this game. Is it your first time playing it, or are you also similarly addicted to this game? <laughs> Did you know some spiders are edible? Yeah, you can buy, like, those, um, uh, like, freeze-dried bugs, including spiders. I don't want to be eaten. Please don't eat me. It's my happy game. Honestly, same. <laughs> Last year, when Steam released their, um like data for each user i would or no it wasn't steam it, it was twitch um i was in like the top one percent of streamers of this game because i just had streamed so much of it because i was so addicted to this game imagine eating a tarantula no thank you do not engage in such cannibalism but yeah i love this game so much so it's nice to see that other people love this game as much as i do this is honestly the only level I haven't done yet. And, uh, I'm enjoying it because I like the old James Bond movies. I swear to God, there's a scalpel here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah, it's not a scalpel. Um, you're American, right? No, I'm actually Canadian. Pew. Cannon had it in that. Yep. <laughs> I'm British. Oh, 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 then isn't it quite late? Should you not be in bed? <laughs> ah! Ow. Let's throw the chair to the sharks as they laser beam it. Also, I'm getting over um, what was probably COVID, so I have a bit of a residual cough. So when I randomly cough that that is why so my apologies in advance for that i'm brit too nice 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 well welcome <laughs> jump into the pool no i will actually die i will inevitably fall into the pool if uh or like if i played this long enough because i am just a klutz no oh, i was hoping to drag this long it's 2 17 a.m yeah y'all should go to bed it's it's a Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. Okay, now let's just rest. Y'all should sleep soon. Regular sleep schedules and all that. I honestly, like, I opened this level and it said, like, three and a half hours. And whenever it says three hours, it takes me, like, six. So, I'm not going to stream this entire level tonight, at least, because I have work in the morning. Oh, and I'm following you on Twitter. We should talk more. Oh, yeah, it's 2.17. I'm going to go to bed. Talk to you again soon. Yeah, it was nice chatting with you about Viscera Clean of Detail. I will give you a follow back on Twitter after stream. Um, But yeah, sleep well. Especially if y'all have work tomorrow. Ugh. Okay, there's nothing here. Ugh, I keep on getting caught on this stupid floor ledge. And I jam this in here. Oh, and it's Halloween. Excited to sleep. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, technically Halloween is my two-year streaming anniversary, but I'm not going to stream anything this year because it's just, there's too much going on on Halloween. Got candy to give out to kids because that's big here. It's like 
Christmas, but for spooky adults. <laughs> Oh, I will fall into that pool at some point. Guaranteed. Okay, let's see what this letter has to say. Progress has been slow. We've made great strides, it's true. But we are we are yet to create the perfect human-animal hybrid. Until then, we must continue. Dr. Hades has largely let me pursue my own experiments. With the possible exception of the laser shark. <laughs> A trivial matter I entrusted to Largo instead. I have no time for such petty things. I have other plans, but my useless subjects refuse to extract the necessary fluids from Mr. Cuddlesworth. Until then, the perfect specimen will continue to elude me. Dr. Morrow, lead geneticist. <laughs> I know I was reading Largo's letter earlier about extracting blood from Mr. Cuddlesworth, but... When you think about it as necessary fluids, there's other fluids that come to mind, and that's highly amusing to me. When I was a kid, my old, my parents always took my candy for tampering. Yeah, that was uh, pretty normal in the 90s, because all of our parents were told, oh no, people are going to put drugs and razor blades in your kid's candy. But it turns out that, like, all recorded cases of any such shenanigans was done by trusted family members or friends. So, there's that. Oop, that's an explosion. We have a seven-foot clown and a huge box of, su of surprise trick-or-treat box at its feet for kids to pick out of. That's amazing! They're gonna get so spooked. I just have some, uh, lights and, um caution tape and spider webs and stuff around my uh front yard oh. into this room I don't like stacking containers in, like, designated stacking zones. I always just throw them in the incinerator. It's just easier that way, even with the explosives. Especially with the explosives in this level. I've never had an issue with them making a mess. What I want is one of those giant uh, skeletons. That is what I want. But they're so expensive. They are prohibitively expensive. And so... I do not yet have a giant skeleton. Oh, there it goes. Guess the sharks are a little slow when I throw a bunch of things in there. Is this a listening device? I wonder what this is. Let's throw it in with the sharks. I also just don't have space to store a um, giant skeleton, 10 foot skeleton or whatever those things are. Uh, the other 11 months of the year, <laughs> unfortunately. I hear a, I did hear a bullet, nice. But boy, do I want one. I also live on a major street, so like someone's gonna steal my goddamn skeleton if I were to do that. Unfortunate reality. Okay, these are probably the last little things that I can justify going back and forth to the pool for and everything else. Will be put in a basket. Toss. I'm gonna have another gummy bear. These are really good. Ow. I have a six foot plastic one named Andy in my bedroom because his hand keeps falling off. We normally go all out. But we had a loss this year. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. But it's always fun to go all out with Halloween decorations.
Okay, let's straighten this, this bad boy out. Good enough. Throw all these crates in. Let's not accidentally start a fire. That would be unfortunate. Can I move this box? No? Okay. I guess this one's only mildly hazardous. Am I gonna create mutant laser sharks by throwing that in there? <laughs> and throw my extra mop in there because it'll just respawn later anyway. When I load back into the game. Can I, can I go? Can I not drop these? Yeah, oh, 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 almost. Okay, that's still fine. That's a lot of guns. And I lost all of them. That's fine. Oh! That's less fine. There goes my bucket. God damn it. That's like the third bucket I've kicked over today. I should not put it in my egresses. <laughs> Let's leave clear pathways out of the room. Damn it. Don't close that. And go get a new bucket. Is it all the way over here? Damn, I should have went the other way. I got confused what room I was in. Nope, don't you dare tip over. Nope. Silly sensitive controls. Get a water bucket, it's gonna get tucked nicely in that corner. And then I'm not gonna knock it over anymore. Until I do. But, you know, that's how it goes. All oh, these silly spies and all the gadgets they lay around. Okay, let's bring this over here. Uh, lots of little things to throw in. Come on. There you go. All these lazy people leaving all their trash everywhere. I suppose I should clean this up too. No, oh, get back here. Click the wrong button. There you go. Ooh. Wow. Definitely plan on having the second floor, so this floor, um, basement, the th and the third floor basement cleared, but not like fully cleared. I mean, like, I'm not going to do the bullet holes and stuff today. And then maybe also the th first floor basement. It's starting to get kind of full, so I'm going to have to toss this and go grab another soon. I guess you should probably come with me, friend. Oh, whoops, right, I forgot that was bloody. 
Hey, you look like me. A guy in a... This is great. Little helmet. They just chomp at them. Okay, time to clean this mop. I wish I could drive it. That'd be fun. Nothing back here? Okay. And we move on. But first, gonna get rid of this. So many things for the laser sharks to destroy. There's my spare basket. Let's go. Oh, boxes. Yes. Soon I'll have to start making a pile near the exit <clears throat> with boxes and start ferrying them around. You go over there. Is that another basket here? Nice. All right, this is where I started. back here. Just a couple cans. I guess I should just throw the can away in the basket. Hot on the door. One thing I don't like about the boom box in this game is the oops, directionality of it all. Like if I'm on the left side of it, I'll hear it in my right ear. What are these hats supposed to be? Okay, can I please pick this up? Thank you. That's a sticker. Okay. Fine. Box. It's so glitchy. Republic Bahamas Worst Fest 93. Well, that can sit in the corner there. I am going to keep one of these hats as a keepsake, though. So I think that that's funny. Okay, let's clean up this blood. Oops. Looks like a big explosion happened here. Right where I entered. Curious. Very curious. <laughs> Mop. Clean. Oh no, these are all different hats, aren't they? I guess I'll keep all three. No, they're all the same. Never mind. Well, I'll keep two hats. I'll feed this guy's torso to the laser sharks. Have fun! Om nom 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 nom. 
That looks like workers, fellow sanitary workers. Something weird is afoot. Oh, I love the trail of uh, guts coming out of this guy. Nice. Looks like his legs are dancing. Oh, nope. I want my bloody mop. And I want it to clean! Will this fit in a basket? Hmm. There we go. Well enough. Nice. Okay. Let's get this guy's head in here. Actually, I'm going to bring the whole basket over. Make my life a little easier. Less walking. Throw all the intestines in. Nestle them in nice and good. <laughs> Bullet shells? Sure. Cans of beer? Also sure. There is a suspicious amount of beer. Oh, I guess this one's cola, but there's always a suspicious amount of beer in these areas. It's like they're purposely intoxicating the employees to make them drunk and stupid to the crimes of the companies or something. Okay, guess I just need a mop over here. Oh look, how convenient. A bucket. Cleaner team at work. Some of these are purposeful. Interesting. Okay. Cool. And I suppose I should probably dispose of the body. Let's go, friendo. Don't leave any blood on the walls on your way out. Nice. Got the second bucket, or box, I mean, following along on top. <laughs> okay, let's throw the other mop in here just because. And then fill my basket with flares and chips. Oops. Picked up the whole box. I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, maybe I have to be. Oops. Okay. I'm not going to go in that room because I know it's going to glitch the game out a little bit once the sharks laser the flares. It's definitely going to happen when I, uh, throw this basket in. When it gets too bright, the game gets confused. <laughs> throw these little listening devices in. I'll leave the lights for now, but I also usually burn those. But this is also kind of a darker level, so uh, might as well keep them, I guess. I did throw it a little light, though. But that's not the kind that, like, immediately catches fire. No! I knew leaving it there was a bad idea. Silly me. Come on, don't 
some good stuff on the lip of the basket. Okay, you can sit there. No. Ah! <laughs> I love the physics in this game. Amazing. Okay, let's start stacking these over here. Just throw them in a big pile. And I see a laser gun. Yay, I can start welding. Not that I'm going to, but you know. There's definitely going to be bodies and stuff on top of some of these boxes. Which is why I'll need the our truss or whatever it is, the lifting scaffolding system thingamabob. Bob, get it, because he's a very important character in this game. <laughs> I have found Bob! It was quite some time ago, though. I don't think I've played since then. Maybe the Christmas thing? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while. I missed it, so... So much trash back here. I throw the toilet seat in with all these boxes. Why not? Okay, and then let's get the sharks to take care of some of this. Oop. Gonna have too many things in there for the sharks to know what to do with. all those boxes and caution signs and other things. Let's create another pile of boxes because why not? Wow, I don't think I'm actually going to get my goal even tonight. Wow. Because I can't stream for too, too long. I've been streaming for an hour and 18 minutes. And I probably got to call it in like half an hour. Oh look, it's a dude. And a dead one at that. Okay, let's get some of this trash. Oh, or not. Apparently we're getting this box. And a letter. Which I'm going to ignore for now. Oh, there it is. There we go. Slide that in nicely. Just want to get this full enough that I can justify disposing of it. Oh, actually, rereading that comment about the, the skeleton named Andy, um, because I'm assuming that's a Toy Story reference, but I don't entirely know. Does Andy lose his hand? I don't know. But, um, I had, for a time, I actually still have them, I'm trying to sell them, uh, an ass ton of pop figures. And, uh, my first one was Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. And I took him out of his little box and I put him on my bed in my hotel room at a convention and he proceeded to fall off the bed. And being absolute garbage quality that pop figures are, his arm fell off. Which was amazing considering it's Jamie fucking Lannister. And at the time, I think he had just lost his hand in the show, so it was. Very fitting. 
Or at least I felt that way. And there's another laser welder back here. Nice. Oh, sunk. We're gonna need a bigger tank. Oh, that's funny. There's an achievement related to jobs. Mm. There was a body back here, was there not? Oop, that's not the, the mop I wanted. There we go. You, come with me. Try not to leave too much of a mess. Okay, yeah, let's get some of these boxes out of the way. So I think I'm a little overwhelmed with choice of what to do. I know I could just keep the boxes there because that's where they're supposed to go, but why would I do that? Okay, let's read this letter. I can't believe it. It happened again. That damn heavy duty and his fucking hat. Why the hell does he have to throw it around like that? He nearly took my head off. Several times I've seen him severing important electrical cables and conduits. Guess who has to fix those? Me. He never speaks. He just sort of stares at you and cracks his neck. It's unnerving as fuck. I don't know why Dr. Hades tolerates him. Donald Grant, electrical technician. I guess this will go easier in the pond. Okay. Back to gathering these. I realized partway through walking that over that I wasn't gonna walk it all the way over. Yeah, let's get this laser gun up in here. There's a few bullets here. There's another one. I missed it. Nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna go leave this in the main room. The sh next to the sharp room. I'll leave it here. Okay, this is pretty bloody now. Has that fully soiled the bucket? It has not. It has not! Oh, there we go. Keep all my important things together. Like this bad boy. You can go next to the laser gun. Bump, 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 bump. I'm gonna get this bucket out of here because I'm gonna knock that over too. You can go in that little cubby. Create a nice collection of things to throw in. A little bit of uh, motion sickness. So I'm sorry. Oh, there's more back here. They never end. Okay. Guess let's uh, get the garbage bin over here. Oh, no. I'm gonna go over there first. Oh, I see bullet holes. But I can find them later with the sniffer. That's less of a big deal. 
I'm gonna deal with bullet holes right now. Oh, blood. No, it's just paint. So much garbage back here, though. That's unfortunate. People are so lazy. I'm gonna need a new basket soon at this rate. That's unfortunate. Okay. Turn section by section. Anything back there? No. Okay. Nah. I'm gonna move this lamp out of here. At least move it to like right here. I don't know. In the corner or something. Less likely to knock it over and start a fire that I have to clean up. Yeah. It'd just be easier to nuke the place, right? But that isn't as satisfying as throwing in a bunch of things to the sharks and watching them burn them with lasers. That one might be our first explosive one, I'm not sure. checking what's what. I'm just th throwing things in indiscriminately. A lot of these are explosive. This is going to come back to bite me like a shark. Oops. Well, good time to close the blast doors. I guess. Huh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's an explosion. Heard only in one ear. Is the smoke cleared? We done? I'm kind of hoping one's going to just like roll in, but there's a bit of a ledge on the pool, unfortunately. Ugh. Getting stuck. Oh yeah, there's a toilet back here. So let's throw a few random things in here. I am afraid to look at that, that orange solo. Solo soda. It's called Agent Orange. For fuck's sake. This toilet's heavy. Have fun with it, sharkies. Okay, let's go get the basket and toss that. And then go get a new one. Or a few. Maybe I should work on the basement for a bit. Wait, now that I remember. Oh no, it was over there. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just get the big things out of the way. Then we can come back for the small things. My, uh, my brain keeps on wanting to call the laser welder a las gun. It's not the right series to be parodying here. Eh. 
No, wrong way. I keep on trying to take these bins the whole way, but I don't need to do that yet. I can just toss them in the hallway. Easy peasy. Don't have to think about it. And then it's a problem for later me. Yeah, so the reason why I want to just get all the big things out <coughs> and then come back to the small things is because I have to go downstairs anyway to grab a couple more bins or baskets for the little things so I might as well do like a more thorough cleaning downstairs while I'm at it I'm just getting the big things out of the way now here There's a broom somewhere here I wanted to throw in. There's four big things here. And I tripped over one of them. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Oh, man! <laughs> that actually scared the shit out of me! Thank you, Moon Ghost, for the bits. Happy anniversary. Thank you. It has been two years. It has been a great two years. Oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Didn't know I did that. Yeah, that's a new thing. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn the game down on my mic a little bit because I'm peeking, especially after that. Holy shit! <laughs> oh. I thought I was screwing something up in game. This is a good Halloween spook. <laughs> I forgot that I said it to like absolutely assault me. Oh boy, we're gonna have fun when you're playing horror games. Ah ha ha ha, see that's the thing. I'm not going to. <laughs> because I'm a big baby who gets scared by the smallest things. There's like a light that burns out in the game Gone Home, which is a walking simulator for Christ's sake. And I got jump scared by that. I got jump scared by a Pigeon flying out of a house in Dear Esther, another walking simulator. See why I play walking simulators and just simulator? <laughs> so you're a big baby. So yeah, you're not you're unfortunately going to witness me playing horror games because it just doesn't go. One time I tried to um, play, play Alien Isolation and I honest to God spent an hour and a half doing nothing. I didn't even get to see the alien. That's how much I dilly-dallied, and then I just gave up because I was just too freaked out. You're literally a jumpy spider. Yup, <laughs> very jumpy. My roommate sometimes like steps on the foot pedal of our garbage in the kitchen, which the wall to the kitchen is um, against the wall to my room. And I jump every time. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, everything down here is all good, clean, nah. okay, let's go downstairs and get some more baskets, have another gummy. I guess we should probably bring our friends here this time. Which is gonna lead to some fun cleanup later, but you know. C'est la vie. And all that. Okay, a 
wasn't too much blood here. Okay, so there's some little boxes. Let's throw those on. And get a basket. Actually, I should do my normal thing, which is leave a basket here. Just in case it spits out body parts that I have somewhere to put them. That isn't just going to smear more body parts around when a new bucket comes out. Okay, let's take this over here first and fill it. Anything? Okay. Chips. Away. There's like a hole outside to this too. Like this is going to take me probably three sessions. Door control. To that door? I can get in that door? No way, they shot that door. There's, we shouldn't be able to open it. Not with this game's logic. Cranium. See, I like the horror aesthetic. I like creepy things. I like viscera cleanup. I do not like getting spooked. <laughs> Might as well clean up while we're down here. So there's this door thing that I can open, and then there's one upstairs too, I think. Is that a jawbone? No, it's a can of cola. At least it's not Agent Orange. Holy fuck, what a terrible name for a joke soda. My god. a wall or two. It's just no different from real life, eh? <laughs> ah, there was a little bit of blood on the wall. Okay, three more bullets here, and then I can go around the corner. Tidy up there. Missile silo. Interesting. So maybe I can get in here eventually. Oh yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Cool. Except for these chips. Correct? No other garbage? No? 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 Okay. Cool. Just this box. And I'll bring a few baskets up with me. And then down here is clear, minus bullet holes and the potential missile silo. I know this is my basket for viscera, but... This is going to be my new viscera basket. Oh, that sounds like viscera! Oh yeah! Buddy, yummy. Thank you, viscera gods, again for this wonderful contribution. Oh, yummy, whatever that is. Might as well put it in the one I already have dirty. So hard to see. Okay, yeah, there are two more hunks of meat here. Give everything a last little wipe. Basket? Basket. Yay. Oh, 
I'll put three clean ones and one partially filled one on the elevator. So let's do this and hope that there's no more. This way. Nope. Good. Good, 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 good. Put that there. Get on. Let's go to... Sounds like I'm tracking around bloody footprints. I am, I am. Because of these bloody bodies back here. Okay, well. Let's bring this out. Throw it to the sharks. And then grab some more junk. This will need. So that'll throw there. Is full enough that I can justify throwing it to the sharks. Wow, I nearly got thrown to the sharks there. Oops. That was close. I really wish there was light in here. I guess I could bring the light into there. Where's the fun in that? Let's bring this guy over. I'll bring the light in once I assume I have enough of the viscera cleaned up. Ooh. That shark went nuts. Careful. I did leave blood. Oh, damn it. On the stairs. Now that's too dirty. Okay. I was curious how the sharks would react to a um, bucket full of blood, but they just, the blood goes away and then they just burn everything. Makes sense, I guess. I think there's just a, a box in here. I shouldn't leave the uh, lamp in here, otherwise it's going to get jostled in such a way that it starts a fire. I'll fix that in a second. Okay. Lamp. Bucket for the bucket machine area obtained. And let's go basket. Finish our cleanup of this room. Yay. Playing cards, clean it up. Chips, clean that up too. Uh, not starting fires, that's important. Corner. Overshot that a little bit. Okay, so the third basement is cleared minus bullets in secret rooms. The second floor is actually also almost cleared. I was of little faith. But I wouldn't even achieve that the stream. This is, of course, also minus checking things up high with the ER dress. I will do that another time. Anything back here? No. Noodle box? Garbage. Garbage? Garbage. 
Mm. Playing cards, garbage. I don't have time to check if there's all the cards in there. There's just so many of them. Garbage. All these flares, also garbage. Bye-bye. Got everything here? No. It's just this little corner. And then that basket's actually almost full too. It's a good thing I didn't get too far with all the spare baskets because I can start bringing those up to the third floor. Looks like there's a blood stain there, but I think it's just the weird lighting textures. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna go give this to the sharks. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's bring these buckets and the tombs up over light and let's go and clean up the boardroom on the third floor you're a bit too quiet okay um i will turn my gain back up i just had turned my gain down a smidge because i was yelling oh i should fill the elevator with these good now nice good cool 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 thank you for letting me know so we got the bucket and then I'll come back for the tunes it's okay to scream like ah <laughs> screaming you'll get. Except it's 11, 12, so I should probably not, you know, scream too much or it's gonna piss off my neighbors. <laughs> Wrong direction. Grab the tunes. The neighbors are gonna raise an eyebrow now. Oh, they've probably heard me scream enough playing games or trying to stream or try to record death metal vocals. <laughs> okay, let's go up a floor. Go to floor one. Ooh. I thought a bucket got knocked over. Good thing it didn't. Okay, well we already have our work cut out for us bullets right here definitely my elderly neighbor next door thinks I'm crazy I'm sure of that <laughs> and that's okay him and his wife were uh, definitely judging my roommate and I as I was outside in cosplay and she was taking pictures of my cosplay Definitely got some judgment for that. But you know what? It's fine. Fuck you too. <laughs> Oops. What's wrong with cosplay? Uh, well, I think it's just old Orthodox Greek religious folks next door being judgmental of potentially slightly skimpy cosplay. I don't know. Whatever. We've never gotten along with them. <laughs> just always been kind of cordial, but that's it. Ah, they're not familiar with it. Yeah, no, no, no. They're just, they're old and conservatively minded. This isn't their thing. 
Okay, friend. Let's go. I'm gonna load you onto the elevator. <laughs> Understandable. As long as they're not hurting nobody. Yep, exactly. We're not hurting you and you're not hurting us. We can coexist with me being a degenerate weeb. Okay, friendo, you're gonna come with me. Oh, you're missing a head. Did you know did you know that, sir? You uh your head appears to be gone. You might wanna get that checked out. One moment. Well, I guess I should call it soon. Ten more minutes. I'll call it at the two hour mark. Today's Monday, right? Oh, fuck. Hmm. I was trying to figure out which uh, <clears throat> basket had things in it already. I had to jump to look in. The uh, trials and tribulations of a short person. Unfortunately. God damn, I love this James Bond shit. I'd grab the gun. There we go. Oops. Safe firearm handling. Do not take it from me. TBH, I would judge out of place, out of season cosplayers. Okay, so I have a story. I'm walking to work, and it's my first day on this job, and I'm walking because my stupid ass went in for a COVID test the Sunday, or the Friday before, but my, I forgot to charge my bike, so it died by the time I got there, so I had to leave my bike there, knowing full well that I'd be there on Monday, and my dad was working there at the time and came and got my charger at lunchtime after I left the bike there, but anyway, um, so I'm walking to work on the Monday, and it's like our call time was 7 a.m. so it's probably like quarter after six at this point and I see a man hop out of a house and again 6 15 in the morning I think this was in it wasn't like out of con season or anything it was in the summer late summer maybe and he is dressed as Shinobu from um, Demon Slayer. Or that's her name, right? The, the fucking butterfly girl. Whatever her name was. I knew it at the time. And uh, so he clearly is not expecting to run into anyone, let alone someone who says full Shinobu cosplay at this hour to him. Apparently he had been up all night and has not slept yet and had to work soon and I was like, oh, good luck. <laughs> he had to get home, get changed, and leave. I don't know what his evening consisted of. It was very <laughs> interesting, <laughs> I'm sure. Here, I'm going for my labor job and running into fellow cosplayers. For all these chairs, yes! All these chairs are burnable. <laughs> Lots of bodies. Oh. I'm making a mess. Okay, how about you stay off the wall? How dirty is my mop? Not at all dirty yet. That's good. Let's start cleaning some blood and change that. Wow. 
Oh, oh yes, there is blood everywhere. Good, good, good. You can come with too. We can all join this bloody party. Okay, and that should finish off that bucket. Yep, nice. Okay, I should clean up blood. This basket is almost full, but it could stand to be filled with a few more bullets. Nice. What a mess they made. Oh yeah, lots of bullets. Whoop. Did not intend to mount the basket. push the chair a little. Okay, this basket is almost full. See how many bullets we can fit in without making a mess with them. Yeah, let's get all these in. I'll probably drop the chips, honestly. They will fall out, and that is okay, because I will find them. My sniffer will find them. The nose knows! Oh gosh, okay, let's Carefully bring this in over here. Oh, yeah. Well, there goes the chips. That's fine. Oh, don't stand in the bucket. And clean my mop. All right, I need a new basket. Let's bring that over. Game for a clean freak. Yep, no, this game is definitely good for me. <laughs> I like things obsessively clean. Oh no. Damn it. Ah! I threw everything out. I gotta find that bullet. That's oh, right there. Oh, that was easy. Oh, well, I guess I'm moving this guy over. Let's go, friend. It's time to be added to the pile of shark feed. clean and keep a, a nice clean work area free of desk chairs <laughs> oh wow that was a fun glitch love it all these texts but no vacuum puppy hands yeah well there's not a lot of like little things to vacuum a vacuum would have trouble with bullets so Honestly, the vacuum is not going to do us much good. Unfortunately. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> it was nice. The wheelie chair wheeled itself almost into the elevator. Mm, okay, we're at the two hour mark. I guess I can't finish cleaning this room. Wah. That's okay. Got a decent way through it. Oops. I keep on thinking there's something under this table, but it's just weird shiny textures in this game. And well, we need a singularity or black hole gun. Well, we have a laser welding gun to clean all these bullet holes. They can start fires too, if you're not careful. Throwing a bunch more little bullets. Clearly this board meeting didn't go well. There's too many corpses in here for a regular board meeting. 
Oh, oh, just pull everything in. That makes sense. Just fucking Miroku hand this shit. That makes sense. But no, there's an art to this. Very satisfying. Okay. Let's bring this fallen chair. Go clean my mop and sign out for the night. Mm. Unfortunate. Okay, no, 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 no. I can't leave like this. I gotta at least fill the elevator full of shit. Even if it's easy things like chairs and boxes. Uh, there we go. Yep. Stand this box up on end. So it doesn't take up nearly as much space. Oh, look, a corpse. Blood to clean. Woo wee. Oh, I honestly thought that was a box behind the corpse, but it was just the wall. It just means that uh, I'm not going to have as much to bring down later, and that's okay. Get the bulk of it out of the way. Tripped on my sound system. More blood, more blood, more blood, more blood, more blood, more blood. Feed the mop. Oh my god. I, so I had this like... I'm on the table. I had this stupid concept of how erasers work when I was a kid. And I thought that like using erasers like fed them. And you had to like give equal attention to all your erasers. And so I would feed my erasers by just like scribbling on paper and then erasing what was on the paper to feed my erasers. <laughs> Such a deranged child thing. Okay, I'd say that that's pretty full. To the point that I can't get in. Damn it. Can we put that up there? Well, this could work if we finagle it. Chair, go there. Okay. Almost. Almost. I don't think I can put this box in here. Oh! Nice. Okay. Let's go down to the second floor. More like killing them, like you use an eraser and they become less and less and tiny. Yeah, oh, I know. I understand that as an adult. Child brain did not understand that. Just clean these up in here where I can see. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to burn all that. Let's... The nose is freaking out with all that viscera. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's... I'll tab it out for a minute. Go over here, immediately mute that. Oh, nice, okay. <clears throat> Adam and Evelyn's playing uh, Slay the Princess. So let's go raid them. I'm gonna go to sleep. But this has been good, this has been fun. I have greatly enjoyed this. Um, thank you, Moon Ghosts for the bits and for the <laughs> hilarious jump scare. Um, <laughs> that was quite amusing. I'll let you know that I thought the world was in black and white before the color TV. Oh, that's amazing. I definitely thought there were little people in the radio. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so thank you for the bits and thank you Blushroom VT for the raid earlier. And all the follows. So many follows today. That's so exciting. Have a good night. It has been fun. See you next time. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Um, maybe I'll do something on the the weekend and then maybe something else later this week. I don't know. I don't know what my plan is this week. I uh, We'll see how zonked I am after Halloween tomorrow. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. 
and I will see you all later. I'm waking up my 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 my, my stream deck. There we go. Words. Bye.